Pastor Kimberly, and today during our episode of The Experience, I want to share with you a little bit about giving and receiving. We probably are all familiar with the saying, it is better to give than to receive. Well, the reality is, is that's actually backed up by a great deal of research that says that that is true. According to Mark Rowland, he is the CEO of the Mental Health Foundation here in the United States. He says that those of us who are kind and compassionate experience clear benefits to our well-being and our happiness. So as we're kind of in the middle of winter here, and I'm sure we're all feeling some, some winter blues, I thought I would just talk with you about how we can experience those benefits of well-being and happiness as we go through this. And, and I'm guessing that the happy you are, you probably even live a little bit longer as well as that, that happiness can spread throughout your life. Being kind also helps us to reduce stress and it also improves our emotional well-being overall. So we all have so much going on in our lives. I mean, this isn't the first time that you've heard me say that. I've said that in other episodes of The Experience about just how busy we are, how overwhelmed we can be with what's going on in the world around us. A lot of different competing stresses, strains, things that are pulling us a bunch of different directions. And not to mention the fact that we're still finally working our way through pandemic and everything that is happening in our nation and our world. So to be overwhelmed is probably an understatement at this point in time in our lives with where we are and what we're facing and everything that we have going on. And so sometimes, unfortunately, kindness kind of gets pushed to the side because we are in urgent mode. It's all about what we need to get done, how we need to get done, how fast we need to get done. And there's often some side effects that come along with that mentality of that urgency. It can be easy to show kindness when we're posting online. You know, we always post these little emojis praying for you or the praying hands. And, and that's great. I'm not trying to make that sound like that's not a good thing, but, but it's easy to post something like that. It's easy to say like, well, that's a great picture or thank you for sharing when we're not actually sitting down or having a conversation face to face someone. But it's a little bit harder to commit to that kindness and to commit to that generosity when we have to actually use real words and we have to show our emotions and we're not hidden behind a phone or a computer screen. And so we need to take time to be kind to one another. There's enough stuff going on in our world that we all need a little kindness in our world. We can benefit. There are so many emotional upsides to being kind that I'm sure we've not even taken into consideration. It really does make a difference, especially we don't know what somebody's state of mind may be on that particular day. And you don't know how vulnerable they may be or what they're struggling with. And so just a simple word of kindness can really go a long way in helping someone see the bright side of things, have a little bit of a better outlook on life. And like I said, with everything that's going on in our world, all the craziness, now is the time to let's try to make a kinder society. Let's try to improve our own mental health as well as the mental health of our friends, our family, and even just a neighbor or a stranger that we may bump into at the grocery store or the post office. Kindness should kind of be almost automatic to us. It should be built into all of the decisions that we make. It should be built into the way we run our daily lives, all of our transactions. But unfortunately, we seem to not have that mentality in our world today. But we can start on our own individual basis. We can't control how other people may be acting. We can't control what's going on, but we can control our own actions and our own thoughts and our own way of doing things. The Mental Health Foundation actually has a guide that they have put together with some suggestions on how we can be kind to one another and what those benefits can be from being kind to each other. So when we're talking about kindness, I guess we need to actually stop and think about what, what does it mean to be kind. What does it look like to be kind to somebody? Well, kindness, according to the Mental Health Foundation, is choosing to do something that helps others or yourself, but it's motivated by true, genuine, warm feelings. 
it's a very genuine act of doing something, not something that's forced, not something because you expect something to be done in return. It's doing good. It often means that you're putting someone else, you're putting other people's needs before your very own. It could be, you know, maybe giving up your seat on the bus. It could be something as simple as offering to maybe help an elderly person pump gas or picking up trash on the street or helping someone who is wheeling their trash can to the bottom of their driveway as you're walking by. Evidence shows that helping others also benefits our own mental health and well-being as well. The person that you're helping obviously gets a lot of benefit from it, but you yourself also get benefit from it. It can reduce your stress. It improves your mood. It, it builds up your self-esteem. It makes you happier. I mean, don't you have that good, genuine feeling after you have helped somebody of just knowing that that was a good thing to do? There are so many ways in our world, in our lives that we can help others. Helping others feel good, helping others do good. When we do a good deed for somebody, it doesn't necessarily have to cost a lot of money, but it helps us to keep things in perspective because we are so blessed in our world today and there's always others who need more than what we do. It helps to make the world a kinder and happier place. Just one act of kindness can trickle down in ways that we don't even realize and help so many people have a better day and show that the world really does have good people in it. The more you do for others, the more you will do for yourself. And so I encourage you, I encourage you, especially as we're, we're kind of a little bit more cooped up during the winter, we're not out, we're not as active as what we may be during the summer. But even though we're kind of like isolated and cooped up in our house a little bit, I encourage you to just to take a few moments, just take a few moments and think about what you can do to help someone else in the crazy world that we live in. How can you offer a helping hand? How can you be a ray of sunshine to someone today? God bless.